stuff. So we're all going to uh, crack on with this, and it's hopefully get the grid in as quick as we can, because uh, I've talked too much there. So Richard's just getting his headset on, and we are away and going. So let's have a look how they line up. Tyler Reed, second in the championship, starts on pole position. James Newbury, uh, Paul Marcel, and Eric Boulter next up from Harry Marcel and Jamie Moylan with that onboard camera. Ben Mahoney and Andy Bird next from Will Gibson and Dan Pooley. Stephen Traherne and Ollie Schlupp on row six, row seven. Matt Knight and Mark Beatty. Luke Simmons and Steve Whiteleg followed by Connor Mills and Lenny Woodcock. Nick Bridgman, row 10, with Nathan Anthony, Robert Barrable and Nick Price. Then Peter Barrable and Jay Najjar on row 12. Then it's Jack Parker, he's already had a win today, and Chris Dewey next to him. So Jack Parker has got a lot of work to do from the back, but don't be surprised if he joins that lead group, because that's what Jack Parker does. He is very much the man to beat here, the target for everybody, metaphorically. And uh, he's off the back of the grid, remember, a balloted grid, as Paul mentioned, and drivers everywhere basically but they'll sort themselves out within the first four or five laps we hope this is the view from Jamie Moylan the young Irish driver Eric Bolton in the Pooley Racing hire car which apparently they haven't filled for Knock Hill yet so if you fancy being on the grid he's the man you need to talk to we go Legends Racing here with Tyler Reed in red Tyler McReed with two mater James Newbury in the number two the two mater car is a poorly bunny he's got he can barely speak a lot of people wish that was me as Moylan goes to the outside challenging for the lead look at this this is proper stuff from our onboard camera oh! the lead is out Andy Burke tagged the back of the leader inadvertently and Tyler Reed goes around the second place man in the championship fires it up spins it around continues on his way but now he's going to give Jack Parker some company if Parker hasn't made up half a dozen places already so it's all big big stuff and Eric Bolton leads but it's Will Gibson in second place Jamie Moylan in third Stephen Traherne next up from James Newbury in the number two and I'm not sounding surprised that James is there I am perhaps because he's a little bit under the weather but here's a rerun as they come up towards Druids yeah where's that all come about from so it's a big Big, big lunge, isn't it? And a big lock up. And like you say, Andy Bird just out of control, to be honest, um, on board. And this was this was great because, to be fair, this will give us a good angle of attack. And that is an attack. He'll be very sorry about that. And the, the one thing he will do, I'm sure, is go and speak to Reed straight away and say, I am so sorry. I was out of control there. That's a, such a shame. A lot going on. Uh, already first in this... Uh, in oh, straight on, that looks like a, a Dan failure. Pooley. Yep, Dan Pooley, he's had something go in the 32 car into the rectocell barrier, and uh, Dan, who's been getting better and better, great results from Dan thus far, but not today, as Paul Simmons goes down the inside of Nathan Anthony. And we've got a new leader, which is Will Gibson, the reigning overall champion out front from Jamie Moylan. Camera car in second position. Jamie sounding a lot happier when I spoke to him uh, over the lunch break. He's, he's had a difficult weekend. I think first time he's raced here at Brands Hatch, but the uh, motor's not been running too well. As we pick up a Robert Barrable, his stable mate with Paul O'Brien Racing on the outside in the yellow and blue. Yeah, I'm just looking out the comms box, win comms box window to see if that car's still in the gravel. It is. They're going to have to be so cautious as they now head down up, uh, up Hellwood Hill and they're going to now to, uh, go to Druid. And this is where the yellow should be. I can see flashing on the left. So Jamie Moylan on board and they're all slowing down. That's great to see. Yep, so Jamie. Uh, first couple of meetings that he's actually been able to race with Will Gibson, who Will was the uh, non-elite champion last year. But if you added the points from the non-elite rounds and the elites, then he, he was the top point scorer over all of those rounds. Um, and so he is uh, back with us going for it. Daniel is OK, which is good. Dan Pooley, former midget racing champion, multi, multi champion. Good engineer as well. Builds midget cars with the Pooley Racing Concern in March in Cambridgeshire. I'm going to go so, replay of what happened. Yeah, what's gone on there? Is it some, has he missed everyone by going straight on? Oh, I didn't quite see that. I wasn't looking. I was in the wrong place, to I be was, honest. I was looking was, in the wrong place, yeah. yeah. But unless he was really hard punted, as you can see, a lot of bump draft. Look at, look at these legends just headbutting each other down the straight to get a bit of a, an angle uh, for the next corner, Paddock Hill Ben. This is, uh, this is good stuff. But tell you what, Gibson is holding his own here, isn't he? Standard. Yeah, Will, Will Gibson will. He'll always make progress through the field. And he's done it here. Moylan challenging him. You can see for Tim for life, which is for Will's brother, Tim Gibson, who sadly passed away. Had a heart condition, a heart transplant. Lived for a, a few years, but always dedicates the race win and success to Tim, who was a lovely guy and a good pilot as well. As uh, Talking of good pilots, here comes Jamie Moylan closing in. So in uh, third position 
is Andy Bird. Or Angry Bird, I think you called him. I called him Angry Bird, yeah. He'll probably come and find me on me and do me in. Look at this. Bond track for the lead. This is a great onboard. Look at what they're doing. They're flat out. They're probably over 100 miles an hour. They bump track, so they push the car in front forward because they don't want to overtake. They could easily overtake, but that would just hold them both up. And they've got such a, uh, a big gap for legends, haven't they? They've got like a second leader, a uh, second. Um, uh, gap over uh, Bolton there in third. Yeah, Bolton's doing well. The car that went into the barrier druids, that's prepared by Dan Pooley, so he prepares Bolton's oh. car, which, as I said, is the higher car. I think Eric's going back to pick up truck racing. I think they're back here in a few weeks' time at the Speed Fest, American Speed Fest. And he's racing next weekend at Pembray, but running really well, Bolton, as we go back with the young Irishman and the man from Camberley in front, Will Gibson. It's fascinating these onwards. You really see how on the edge these cars are. Yeah, exactly. And at home, you'll be able to hear the throttle. Look at those two different lines there. So Gibson in that number one car was really wide on the exit. It looks like he's defending now. Um, no, he's not. He's trying to... That's interesting. Right, that's interesting. That 44 of Moylan, I think, is starting to get high temps. There is no reason for you to be out of the slipstream of the car ahead. That is getting a hot engine, maybe. Interesting regulation. That. He's just trying to regulate that engine temp and the brake temps. Our director's picked up on the red car, Tyler Reed, who, of course, started on the front rank and got that tap from Andy Bird, and he's wow. making his way through. I'm pretty sure he was stone last, wasn't he? He was dead last, yeah. He did a, did a little uh, U-turn, didn't he? Um, that's, a, that's a fantastic effort, but that's what I love about the legends is they can get through with fantastic racecraft, and everyone seems pretty respectful. I know we've seen a little tag round, but it, it's they're so difficult, these cars. They get very light at the front when you're on the brakes. Peter Barrable in front of him. Three car Irish contingent coming over and racing a lead cup, and Tyler Reed. Yeah, Barrable went for the Formula Ford line, and Tyler Reed, yeah, thanks very much. I like that. Nips on the inside, and now chases the Savan of Nathan Anthony. Oh, 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 oh. That, was, that was not a gentle bump drop, was it? It felt that was like brisker <laughs> F1 stock cars, that. Fair play. I tell you what, Gibson will be sitting in that car trying to re, uh, redo his neck straight. That was, yeah, rather, rather Will than me. <laughs> So Ollie Schlupp's making good progress. Schlupp, Schlupp ahead there of Eric Bolton. Schlupp in the number nine. The teenager taking his first Legends Cars win yesterday and was speculating as I chatted to him in the holding area about how Lando Norris had done 100 odd races. And he said, I'm about the same point as Lando, so maybe I've had a bit of luck. And he did. He went out and won it. But here comes Moylan again into the back of Moylan. Oh, you've got to be careful there. I mean, these guys know better than me, but I know bump drafting in a straight line is is fair game but he nearly fired himself off there because gibson will not be happy that he got a bump track is he gonna i mean that they're big hits them and like like you said before richard you've got to be you've got to be careful that you oh nathan anthony what's happened there he must have been tagged you don't he, spin coming out of there he might do no i'm joking nathan i'm joking nathan <laughs> yeah. he's a good lad maybe he's got a left rear on the grass maybe so what's happened with nathan has he been tagged or run wide? If you drop a left rear like that... You got it. Yeah. Oh, oh he's a lucky Steve boy. Steve Whiteleg was lucky oh. there, wasn't he? Wow. Oh, he's a little tagged. He'll be fine one. with that, yeah. Yeah. So, wow. uh, Martin Davies spannering that car will sort that out. And uh, so it's Gibson, Moylan, Bird, Schlupp, Bolton. Robert Barrable's come through well. Luke Simmons next up in seventh place. Then we've got Matt Knight, Connor Mills, who's a little bit... Colin Mills' his team done four engine changes this weekend so far. Oh my word, that that's never a, an easy thing in any in any championship. You see the overrun there. A lot of people will be thinking, oh, the engine's going to blow, but that uh, that is something you need in these cars. Apparently, the overrun of the engine, that that little oil wispy looking uh, cloud that you see coming out the cars on overrun. That's that's kind of what you need in these for them to be fast. So we're making a move here. So it's uh, Luke Simmons coming under pressure. And uh, Simmons with Knight, Matt Knight, who runs in the John Mickle team, having a Jim Moylan's dropped back now, isn't he, from Will Gibson. We're on the penultimate lap. That's the heat. It is, yeah, dropping back just to keep things cooler. Andy Bird's still in third place. Then it's Ollie Schlupp in the blue and orange uh, K-Seal car. There is Luke Simmons coming under pressure now from Colin Mills, who's come through. So reigning Elite Cup champion Colin Mills was uh, a lot happier after race two as Schlupp goes wide on the outside line here Robert Barrable let's have a look at the pace of these two cars relative to each other yeah not a huge amount in it and it looks like the line here on the outside is going to be with Ollie Schlupp but Barrable's got the inside run 
into Paddock Hill Bend, and Jamie Moylan has closed right up on Will Gibson in the closing lap. Here we go then, this is it for the lead, it's the final lap, they need to attack, that's a change for the place, isn't it? Is that Bird down the inside? It is, yep. Oh, he's, he's, he's still got him there. Back. Moylan's got him back. Oh, who wants to win this then? Because Gibson is going to be as wide as you like, but this is going to be a drag to the line. Why is the 6.8 million cars in it now? <laughs> That's typical Legends racing and a few more than we've had in the last couple of races. So Moylan, the challenger, doesn't know Brand Hatch as well as Will Gibson. Brand Hatch is pretty much now the home for Legends cars. They do so many races, only two meetings this year. But Moylan's going to have a look at the inside, but Will's got it covered. That was good stuff from Will Gibson. He came out a little bit to get a run, but defended as well at the same time. It's all going to be about the run to the flag. Moylan has a look. Andy Bird behind him in black, white and green. He's going to have a look as well. Ooh. Run to the flag. Gibson, I think, has got Ooh. it. But watch for Barrable coming up in yellow. <laughs> it is Gibson that takes it. Moylan second, Bird third. Robert Barrable in fourth place. Ollie Schlupp in fifth. And Eric Bolton, another very healthy sixth position um, in that car. Good stuff from the Legends. And, of course, now the Legends Abacus comes out and we add all the points up. I say we, not me. I have nothing.